the most common JSON error is syntax mistakes. So a missing comma or an extra comma, an extra bracket or unmatched uh, quotes. So in, in a, and you largely avoid those mistakes because the platform generates valid JSON automatically. But when you do need to write it manually, uh, the built-in editor is, is pretty good at showing up any kind of syntax errors uh, immediately, but sometimes it might miss them. So empty or missing values can break workflows as well. Maybe like a customer record might, might not have a phone number or an API might return maybe null for optional fields. So in NAN, you can use the if node to check whether data exists before using it. And you want to set default values for missing data just to keep your workflows running smoothly. Large JSON files can be quite overwhelming. Uh, an API might return maybe hundreds of records when you only need some specific ones. In NAN, the nodes usually include options to limit results or maybe to filter data or just extract just, you know, just the fields that you need. So uh, you might want to split out an array maybe, you might want to sort it, you might want to filter it based on different criteria. And sometimes different services can use different JSON structures for similar data. So one service might call something email while another system says email address. So in NAN, you can use the set node and that lets you like rename and restructure data to match what the service expects. Uh, which might be different to your system. And that flexibility really ensures that your automations are just going to work reliably across different platforms.